Hey guys, and welcome back to another Technology Guru video. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to equalize or normalize multiple audio tracks so their volume levels are the same. So this may come up if you're editing a podcast or any multi-track file. So what you're going to want to do is go on over to conversationsnetwork.org slash levelator. I will have that URL in the description below this video. You're then going to want to download this freemium piece of software, an amazing piece of software. It's actually the Levelator 2. Um, there was a previous version, but you can utilize this free piece of software on Windows, Mac OS 10, Linux. It doesn't matter. They've got versions for older OSs, newer OSs. So once you're here, find your operating system for Mac, it's here, for Windows, it's up here, and then for Linux, it's down at the bottom. So once you've done that, click on the download button that downloads the latest version of Levelator, uh, depending on when you're watching this video. Now, once you've downloaded the Levelator software, you're then going to want to open it. So as you see here, I've opened the Levelator. As you can see, it's on my desktop here. And when I open this app, this little box or rectangle comes available to me. So what I'm going to want to do now is drag my audio files on top of the Levelator. And that's going to equal out and make the volume of multiple tracks to be the same. And it normally levels out at around normally negative nine dBs, which is about where you want it. And you can go and do some fine tuning in your audio software if you want to do anything further than that. Uh, again, another thing you have to understand is that the audio files need to be either .wav, so they need to be WAV files, or AIFF files. So if you have an MP3, take it into your free um, you know, Audacity, whatever you're using to edit your audio, and save it as a WAV file. So as you can see here, I have two separate WAV files from a previous interview I did last week. I'm going to select those two different tracks. I'm then going to click and hold and drag those tracks on top of the level later software right here. Once I let them go, you're going to see the animation start here. You're going to see the little music things go up and down. And then you're going to see a blue progress bar that lets you know the percentage that it's done. So it's going to have to run through this on both tracks. So this is my track, Dusty.Wave. And then my guest, which was Eric, his track will be next. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this and show you what it looks like. Okay, and then once it's done, it's not going to give you a notification or anything like that, but in the folder where the original audio files were at, you're going to now see two new files. It's going to be the file name .output .wave. So in my case, it would be dusty.output.wave. And now if you go and you import these two audio files, the new audio files that the levelator outputted for you, you will then see that they are normalized to be at, at or around point, negative 0.9 dBs, which is about where you want a really solid voiceover. So I hope that helped you out. If you have any other questions about audio or want to see any of my other audio tutorials, you can find those in the little card up above on this video, and I will link to the playlist down below as well. Thank you guys so much for always consuming my content. Throw me a like, share this video with your friends and family, subscribe for more great stuff just like this, and I will see you guys in the next one.